Hello there, uh, this is Vargas and I am back once again with another DVD update. Uh, this time sharing the stuff that I picked up through uh, Movie Freak Bazaar. Uh, like I mentioned during the time that I was uh, purging files from the camera and uh, uh, doing stuff, I, I got a quick trip uh, to visit uh, Movie Freak Bazaar. I didn't have that much saved up because I, ha um, again, it's not been that long. Um, but I, I have a chance to record uh, the, the last two batch of videos for Power Movies. Uh, I might as well record the last two batches of movies that I got through Movie Freak Bazaar. Because I don't know when I'll have another chance. So, <laughs> let's get started. Um, animation, first time around. I picked up a couple of animated movies uh, for myself and for my kids. Uh, even though I, um, we do have some streaming services, um, sometimes the internet's kind of walky and they just want to see something. I can just grab a DVD, pop it in, and uh, they can watch it that way. So, always important to have physical media, especially if you have dodgy internet. Uh, these two are for me. Uh, it's anime, when, and whenever I come across anime, uh, I like picking it up because I really like anime. And this is uh, from the director of Sailor Moon, Revolutionary Girl Utena. This is uh, the Rose Collection, which has the first uh, seven episodes in the anime. So figure out the glare. Um, I don't. I might have. I might. I vaguely remember seeing this. I might be confusing it with something else. Um, so I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I've seen this one, but uh, yeah, uh, it's anime. I picked up. And uh, also picked up this one. Uh, I don't know what volume this is. This might be. This one has uh, episode seven, one through seven, and this one has fourteen to seventeen. So this might be volume three. I want to say. Uh, so yeah, it says uh, revolutionary girl Tena impatience and longing. And uh, this is for me because I, unfortunately there are some anime series that I cannot show my kids because uh, they're not old enough. <laughs> Even though I grew up watching anime and here in Mexico we had a, a bunch of uncut anime. So for example, Dragon Ball uh, had a lot of uh, stuff that um, was edited out uh, in America. So yeah, <laughs> not there yet. Uh, picked up this one, um, Curious George. A very monkey Christmas. Um, when it comes to cartoons or movies in general, I, I like collecting um, stuff that has uh, that is involved with holidays. Two in particular, Halloween. Anything that has anything to do with Halloween, I'll pick it up. Obviously, because uh, Halloween is my birthday, and it's always been a big. Not only because of my birthday, because I freaking love Halloween. Um, so anything, any Halloween special I come across, I pick it up. The other one is Christmas. Uh, any Christmas special or uh, Christmas related thing I find, I pick it up. Uh, and I have the Curious George Halloween special. So uh, I had to get the Curious George Christmas special because it's Christmas. So And my kids dig Curious George. So that was an extra one. Uh... They, they really like this one too, and they don't have this DVD, so I picked it up, and it's uh, Peppa, Pi Peppa Pig When I Grow Up. Uh, these DVDs only have 12 episodes, and they're really short episodes, so they get through them really fast. Um, I'm not a particularly big fan of Peppa Pig. Uh, she kind of gets on my nerves, to be honest. Sometimes uh, she's too bossy and uh, treats the dad kind of badly. <laughs> But uh, my kids like it, and it hasn't affected them negatively in any way. So picked up Peppa Pig. I have quite a few Peppa Pig DVDs. Uh, this one I'm I'm really excited. Uh, I want to uh, up my uh, Peanuts collection, and this is uh, a boy named Charlie Brown, right there. Uh, I think this is the first uh, Peanuts cartoon movie. Because I, I have The Great Pumpkin, uh, Charlie Brown Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving. Those are TV specials, which lasted like 20 minutes. This is the first full-length uh, Peanuts movie uh, that they released. So, uh, happy to get that one. Picked up this one. This is a 
two movie set. Uh, I only have the individual ones, but one of them is kind of wonky, and this one is a two in one. Uh, Barbie, a mermaid, a mermaid tale one and two. Uh, my daughter really digs the Barbie movies, and uh, she really likes mermaids, so. This is good. This is just basically uh, to save space um, and to upgrade the one that's kind of wonky. Uh, so now this will occupy, occupy less space and uh, the discos are in better condition. So it's win-win. Uh, picked up this one. Another Cinderella story. Sorry, Selena Gomez. But I also picked it up. And I forget their names. Um, but I also picked it up because it stars... Uh, I, 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 Catherine Isabel is her name, and uh, I can't remember the the other actress's name. But these two uh, are have starring roles in Ginger Snaps, uh, one, two, and three. Well, uh, Catherine Isabel isn't that much in two, but uh, these are in uh, one and three. And I thought it was really interesting that uh, these two actresses played sisters in uh, Ginger Snaps, and they were in this. Cinderella story. I thought that was too good to pass up, and uh, I just had to pick it up because of that. <laughs> Actually, uh, Professor Macabro posted um, in Twitter. Uh, someone posted a picture of Catherine Isabel and the other actress whose name escapes me, and they were like, "When you see these two, what's the first image that you think of?" And everyone was posting ginger snaps, and Macabro, being Macabro, posted a picture of of this one. <laughs> so I was like. Oh crap! I, I gotta pick it up because that was too funny to to me. <laughs> like, oh, oh crap! The, these two, these exact two people, uh, I think also play sisters in this one. Also play sisters in Ginger Snap. So I thought that was that was that was just something unique to the collection. Um, haven't been a big fan of the Disney live action remakes. Um, I think they could be better. And I don't really see the need because the, the cartoons are perfect. Um, maybe they want to, you know, omit certain things that were dodgy back in the day. I guess. Uh, so I haven't liked everything. But he had these at a good price. And they're the Blu-ray DVD combo pack. Uh, so I, I picked it up. The Jungle Book. The third live action Jungle Book. that they, Probably more. There's probably been more uh, Jungle Book live action movies, but this is the live action version from Disney. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not a big fan. I didn't like the way that the animals looked, and then it got worse with The Lion King. Uh, very expressionless. Because um, they were trying to go for like really realistic an looking animals, and animals don't really express that much. I don't know. Uh, but it's still, still new, still sealed, and. Uh, He'll go to the never-ending Disney collection. And the last one, this one I actually did like. Um, went to see it to the theaters with, with the kids, and uh, I liked it. And uh, it's a sequel to Finding Nemo, which I really like. And uh, finally picked up Finding Dory. Uh, Finding Dory, the sequel to Finding Nemo. Was it necessary? Mm, no, not really. Finding Nemo really works as a standalone. Um, but it's still, it was still pretty good. Uh Gives, goes in more into detail into Dory. Um, has a really, really sad scene with her specifically. Comes with the slipcase and it's the Blu-ray DVD combo pack. Um, I want to see... Last time, uh, I tried it a couple of months ago. I couldn't register for the Disney Rewards program. But I do know that uh, if you register... Uh, because I saw it from um, Miranda's channel. Uh, you register your... Uh, the codes from your Disney movies and then you can change it for points and then you can change it for movies. So that something that I could do because I have a couple of codes. I, I would need to see if they're still good. But uh, and I have my never ending Disney collection has a whole bunch of codes that I could try to use. But the last time I did uh, it wouldn't let me for some reason. Uh, so I need to try again and see if I'm, I'm finally able to register and create an account and start uh, registering my points. So but yeah Finding Dory. Uh, I liked it. Um, again, not as good as the first one. As a sequel, maybe not really as necessary, but it was still pretty good. I, I liked it. I I liked it quite a bit. So, out of depth. Um, like always, I like to recommend the standouts of the collection, 
And I'm going to go with a boy named Charlie Brown. I like the Peanuts cartoons. I do want to get more of these. Uh, definitely, definitely want to get more of these Peanuts cartoons. And uh, Finding Dory. I, I like Finding Dory. I thought it was pretty cool. And uh, The Octopus, played by uh, Ed O'Neill, I thought was also pretty funny. So yeah, pick that one up. Uh, one more video to record, uh, just a few bit more DVDs I picked up through Movie Freak Bazaar. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. <laughs>